All right, this is AP, AB, and BC calculus. We're doing unit one, section 13, which is talking about removing discontinuities. So in previous videos, we've already seen what a removable discontinuity is, right? We've seen holes. Uh, and so now what we're gonna learn is we're gonna learn how to create a piecewise function that plugs the hole, which in certain circumstances is gonna take a function that's problematic to us because it has a discontinuity and create a function that's not problematic anymore because boom, no more discontinuity, cool. So, um, Let's go ahead and walk through what this looks like. So here we have a, a function f of x equals the quantity 10x squared minus 10 all over a 5x plus 5. We're asked to remove the discontinuity by finding a function that would plug the hole uh, and then rewrite this entire function as piecewise. So here's the, the mathematical thing that we're gonna do to get there, right? Um, so first thing I wanna point out, I graphed this in my calculator and here's what it looks like if I graph this in my calculator. It looks like a line, right? Um, specifically, it looks like a line that is a line everywhere except for at x equals uh, negative one. And I'm gonna go ahead and trace and you'll see that right there at negative one, we end up with this empty spot. So let me take a quick screenshot and just drag that on the screen. So essentially what's happening is this graphs like a line, it graphs like a line that just has a space missing at negative one, right? So, Let's, uh, let's clean this up. So why is this that this graph seems to have a hole, right? So this graph seems to have a hole at x equals negative one, right? There's no y value, that's why it says y equals blank. Okay, so let's go ahead and factor. If I factor out a 10, I get an x squared minus one on top, and on the bottom, if I factor out a five, uh, I get an x plus one. Well, if I keep factoring, that's a 10 times x plus one, x minus one, over a five times an x plus one. If I clean this up, right, first off, I can see that right here, that's why I have a hole at x plus one equals zero, which is x equals negative one. So that jives with what I have over here for my picture, right? So it seems that I could rewrite this function essentially as a 10 over five, which we'll deal with in a sec, times an x minus one, or just a two times the quantity x minus one, or if you like it better, two x minus two, any of those are fine. So what you're seeing right here is a line that looks like two x minus two. What that means is I can figure out what would plug the hole. So at x equals negative one, essentially I can't, I can't reach negative one, but what I can find is the limit as x approaches negative one of that f of x, using this simplified version, right? As I approach negative one, I get a two times negative one minus two, which is a negative four. So when I put this together into a piecewise function, right? This is the value that's gonna plug the hole. Negative one four is the lid that plugs the hole, right? That's the thing that's covering up this, this pothole in the road that's making it unsafe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite and say, that my new version of f of x, right? And like, so, so I'm gonna just gonna say f new, right? My new version of f of x is gonna be this function they gave me, right? X, uh, 10x squared minus 10 over this 5x plus five uh, for any x value that is not equal to negative one. And it's gonna be a negative four for x values that are equal to negative one. What that's saying is do exactly what this graph is doing everywhere else, right? But then at negative one, you're gonna plug in a negative four, okay? And that'll plug the hole. So sure enough, negative one, negative four, plug the hole. And now this is gonna say negative four, like logically, because what I've taken is I've taken this pothole in the road, this removable discontinuity, and I've filled it with the value. So notice I couldn't have filled it with any value. If I filled it with this value, that's not filling the hole in the road. If I fill it with this value, it's not filling the hole in the road. I have to fill it with the exact value that would be the same as the limit, right? So the, the limit from the left, the limit from the right is the same as that value. All right, so go ahead and try it with this one. Um, again, I'm gonna suggest that the first thing you do is go ahead and factor to simplify. So I see that the bottom is a three times x minus two, right? I expect that I'm gonna find an x minus two on the top because that's probably what's designed to happen, right? Uh, so I try a minus uh, two is what I meant to write and I wrote a one and a minus one, right? And sure enough, if I FOIL the check, I get three x squared, which is right a minus six x and a minus one x, which is a minus seven x and a plus two. So that's right. So seems to me that what's happening is I have a hole at x equals two, right? So if I cancel out that hole, this thing is a three x minus one all over a three. What that means is that the limit as x approaches two of f of x 
is going to be a 3 times 2 minus 1 all over 3, or a 5 thirds. So my new function that I want to write for f, which I'll just call f new, is going to behave just like the original function, right? It's going to be this function for x values that are not 2, but then for 2, it's going to be a 5 thirds, and that's going to be the value that plugs the hole. So that's how we get rid of removable discontinuities. We identify them, we figure out what y value we would need to use to plug the hole, and we plug the hole. Uh, and that is it for the unit 1 section 13 video.